Take it away, round one. Hello again, Grapple fans, and right from the very start of this preliminary contest here at the Pavilion Amber Amsterdam, Johnny Kincaid versus Sandy Scott, and hard to try to introduce them because there's so much action in the first three seconds. Johnny Kincaid certainly will not like that. Sandy Scott was across the ring so quickly. Never seen anything so fast, and Kincaid doesn't know what the date is on there. Not too happy about getting back to his settled down. What an amazing beginning to a box. And Kincaid going in with a few punches now, if he can get away with it, just to slow his opponent down. Sandy Scott from the Kingdom of Fife in Scotland. 16 stone 8. And there's Johnny Kincaid, the boy from Barbados with the silver boots there. At 16 stone 2. Sandy Scott's got the height advantage, but and a bit of the weight advantage as well. Max Ward, as you can see there, the referee for this afternoon's contests. And what a beginning to a first bout. The packed crowd here at the Pavilion Hemel Hempstead really warmed to this one right from the first second, which is, doesn't often happen. And now where's that shin of his, right across the windpipe of Sandy Scott, that's where it was. coming from Sandy Scott and Kincaid not happy about them at all. Doesn't like it one bit. Try another one. Try the head there then, but Kincaid going in. Blind side of the ref. And the sweat band's doing some damage. Again, Sandy Scott gets out of it. And here's the counter. of the hair pull there by Kincaid, but not spotted the referee who was the other side. Now he's come over this side, maybe the right hand of Kincaid is, no, no danger at the moment. It's a double arm from the front, from the top. And the head mare again. That last one, quite illegal, in which Kincaid apologizes, but with a grin. Took him his mind off completely, and Sandy Scott nearly got a pinfall from it. Took him a bit too far into the ropes. Yes. <laughs> Cage really angry with the referee for shouting at that moment. Took his attention, and Sandy Scott so nearly got the winning pinfall. He only needs one. This is a one fall bout. Doesn't like the sound of those blues and the slow hand clap. Yeah. Oh, splits. Really hold those legs apart there. And Kincaid, not a happy man at all at the moment with Sandy Scott. But Scott still with a reverse side headlock there. Kincaid hooking the leg back to a good line if he can. Isn't really on. He's still got the side head up there. And the Come on, Scott. strangle hold the on the chin rather than the throat. Come on. Less than half a minute to go. And again the use of that sweat band around the wrist. Again, the sweat band going in, so the woolen material, not leather. And only three seconds.
So the Sony start lighting this over the ring. Johnny Kincaid with the from Barbados there with the uh, tattoo marks on the arms. Really fit fellow, this one. Very strong man indeed. The tag partner, of course, of Dave Butcher Bond. Second away, round two. And their tag team, the Caribbean Sunshine Boys, and we'll be seeing some of them, something, something of them, I'm sure, at future television shows. Johnny Kincaid, of course, from Barbados. Getting a real post in there from Sandy Scott of Scotland. Really pulling that beard round now. So a one full contest this is. No sign of any score yet. Yes, the hit of the hand that time. And it's Scott going for the hair this time. Look, Bravo, and there's the punch, or was it? Now the referee happy with it. Sonny Stark really coming back and uh, losing his cool in here. Side headlock, Tim K. Yes, nice. Nice back drop. Caught him well. This time, a flying tackle which didn't work for him. And it's King Kane has got the slam, but he does it across the ropes. Backbreaker across the top rope, and trouble there for Sandy Scott. Johnny Kane, his first public warning. I... So a public warning to King Kane for trying to backbreak his man across the top rope. It's an unusual move anyway, but he gets a public warning for it. For one moment, I thought the referee had uh, disqualified him. Uh, hole has been released, Mr. Kincaid. And must not be continued until your opponent is up on his feet. No, it's okay. Perfectly legal to continue with the uh, forearm smashing there because he hasn't released the hole. Second round, one public warning against him, Kev. And of course, no score. Because it's just a one four box. <laughs> yes, and more use of that uh, sweat band, I think. It's really a pity they're allowed to wear them in wrestling. This is looking close to him. Already, Sandy Scott's had quite a bit of back group here. Trouble. Just got a minute to go in this round. They better not take too much more from Kate from going with a real backbreaking submission hold. Oh. And again, Tim Kate's hand very near, if not right in the right eye. Backbreaker again over the shoulder. And Sandy Stock can get advantage from this, but can slide all the way down. Double arm is on. 
No, he couldn't take it. Oh, very definite punch there, but not spotted. Nice quick suplex by King Kane, and this is dangerous for Sandy Stop. He's got it. So King Kane, the winner, with just a few seconds to go in round two.